good morning from Arizona. We uh, spent the night at Holbrook, Arizona last night. And uh, we just hit some fog. Y'all notice all that frozen uh, desert uh, shrubbery. Can y'all see that? How white it is? So we just hit some real thick fog. Uh, and it's 28 degrees. So we kicked off the cruise control, turned off the jake brake, and both hands on the wheel. Because uh, I've encountered freezing fog before, and uh, I don't trust it. That fog could, uh, so far it's not freezing up on the windows or the mirrors. Well, yes it is, it's froze up on the back of the mirrors. Because uh, like I said, it's 28 degrees, it's pretty heavy fog. So the road can uh, turn to black ice uh, quickly. Had that, I've had that happen a few times. So here comes just a test vehicle. So we'll keep an eye on that. We see that guy in the median. We will know that he hit some black ice. So we are at the ready. Oh man, check that out. That big stretched out Peterbilt hit. Yeah. 250 gallon tanks back to back. But anyway, so there's that. Freezing fog driving lesson number one. No cruise, no Jake, and ready to handle it if it kicks out. See ya. So, yeah, I don't know if that's picking up on the camera or not, but the fog got a whole lot thicker and it started freezing up on the windshield. So I got the defroster wide open and I got the windshield to uh, thaw out. And we are running about 63 miles an hour. Just trying to take it easy because that could turn into black ice real fast. I've had uh, freezing fog two or three times in my life and it's not pretty. One time I was coming across Sequami, I had to chain up, because there wasn't anywhere to park around that TA at all, or another, and you can't, with Landstar, you couldn't park on the side of the road, you got uh, zero dollars for city duck policy. So you couldn't, there was a lot of trucks parked on the ramps and on the side of the road. <clears throat> well, I could not do that, because uh, I'd lose my lease, you know, so I was forced to chain up and drive across the uh, the Sequami Pass, <clears throat> which was, you know, idiotic, right? I mean, it's, it would have been much better to park on the uh, chain up area where everybody else was parked or the, or the ramps where everybody else was parked. But with the start, you couldn't do it. So I had to chain up, got across Sequami, and uh, what road is that coming down there? 92, because I cut down south. Anyway, uh, Got in there and got the chains off. And that took me like three hours just to go across Saquami. You know, to chain up, cross it, unchain. Yeah, I wasted three and a half hours to go, what, 60 miles? Got down there, got the chains off, and hit real heavy thog, fog, and it, everything froze up. And uh, got slicker and snot. So I hit the rest area. It's a little rest area right there in town. And uh, I was able to find a parking spot there and uh, parked it. So I spent all that time to go 60 miles, you know, uh, waste of, waste of, uh, but anyway, so yeah, everything's frozen. My mirrors, the exhaust stacks are all coated in ice. So uh, it's not cool, man. So I think we should be approaching a TA down here. So we're about to three. Where's that TA at? So we may park it for a little bit. And uh, let it see if the fog goes away. I think they say it cleared up the state line. So we're just going to keep crawling and uh, take it easy. Focus on what the truck's doing and read the road. So yeah, we're 
58 miles away from Gallup, so we got a ways to go yet. Alright. Anyway, why there be a risk there between here and there? I don't know. I will keep you guys updated. See you. Well, I went past this guy, but he's all over the road. He's not going to do it. Anyway, way over that white line two or three times. Still in this freezing falls. Just trying to behave. 